we were doing the crystalline structure now we come to the imperfections in solids okay howsoever careful we are howsoever well arranged a lattice is there is bound to be some kind of defect that means some departure from the regularity in it okay the reasons are many but amongst the trillions and trillions and trillions of the atoms or molecules obviously there is bound to be some some break away from the regularity and that is called an imperfection in the lattice right so so these imperfections as the prime defect tells us that this this defect is limited to limited to to a lattice point a lattice point why because this involves involves multiple lattice points okay. Okay. So one is a zero dimension thing, a zero dimension thing, while the other is a is a two is is a one dimension thing. Okay, is a one dimension thing. Fine. Why did I say it is zero dimension? Kind of in the sense that no length, no breadth, no height is involved. <coughs> And if there is a three dimensional defect. you are kind of talking about an amorphous solid it's no longer crystalline right okay so there is no defect then it automatically will become short way short no in in crystalline solids if if there are defects we we understand that there be defect in some small portion now that portion could be a point a line it could also be an area or it could also be a whole volume but but we are not discussing those okay fine now as far as the point defects are concerned we have these two types of defects amongst the point defects we have the the stoichiometric defects stoichiometric defect and the non stoichiometric defect and the non Okay. There is a stoichiometric defect and there is a non-stoichiometric defect. Fine. What do you mean by stoichiometric defect? What do we mean by stoichiometric defect? The ratio. Yeah. The formula remains the same. The formula of the compound. The formula of the compound. Here, the formula of the compound changes. So, what do we mean? We actually mean that the ratio, the proportion of the of the different molecules, they remain the same here. So, if it is H two S O four, or say maybe if it is N A C L, then it remains N A C L. Fine, it remains N A C L. So, so the so the point defects are stoichiometric, non-stoichiometric, and impurity defects. There is the third category called the impurity defect. Okay. 
Now I discuss the stoichiometric defect in detail. Stoichiometric defect in detail. And we have discussed that stoichiometric defects are those which do not change my stoichiometry. Fine? Fine? So stoichiometric defects are now, now of the, the first category that we are dealing with is, is the vacancy defect. It is very simple to understand. So, it is vacancy defect. Okay. It is vacancy defect. What does the term mean? It means that where you expect a particular atom or molecule or ion to be present, it is not present there. That site is vacant. So, what does it mean? where it should have been, where it should have been found. Where it should have been found, right? Wherever it should have been found. Now what happens if if it should have been there it should have been there